Skateboarding, scootering, bottle flipping. I want to know which one is actually more popular online, and maybe not just for the moment, because I have noticed that bottle flipping has taken a skyrocket to literally the sun and past effects on YouTube right now, and I must know. So I have a few friends who definitely do bottle flipping. Sam Tabor, Ryan Bracken, and Andy Schrock, I am assuming are the dudes who are doing bottle flipping the most. I mean, first of all, can we literally give it up for Ryan Bracken growing, like, a hundred thousand plus subs within the last week. I mean, oh my. So I was just thinking about taking their five most recent skate videos compared to their five most recent bottle flipping videos and seeing how much better one does than the other. One, 21, 663 plus 39, 5, 6, 6, 3, 3, 9, 6, 2, 11, 3, 6, 9, 8, 6, 8, 3. For a grand total of 215,243 views, which is awesome. Now for the bottle flipping. Most recently, 1,341,339, 1,611,550, The biggest one, 1,943,182. For a grand total of 7,292,812. Which means that Ryan Bracken's bottle flipping videos are doing 30, about 34 times better than his skateboarding videos. Holy mother! So I'm gonna rinse and repeat for Andy Schrock and Sam Tabor and see how it goes. For Sam Tabor's skateboarding views, 527,764. That's awesome. So I just realized that Sam Tabor only has four bottle flip videos, which is insane. But still, 4,554,924 total of those four. Which is, which is about nine times better than the accumulation of the skate videos, even though I did five skate videos and only four bottle flip videos. Crazy! Okay, Andy Schrock. I'm not even gonna add it up for Andy Schrock because I'm looking at his views right now. Yes, it, it, clearly the bottle flipping videos ha do like at least four, yeah, a million, 404,000. Uh, his most recent one, 18 hours ago, almost 100,000, so. Yeah. So I do find it fascinating that the skate community is so interested in bottle flipping. And I, I get it to an extent where I really, really like doing it, it's super fun. Um, but I'm curious as to why like Luis's and Johnny Geiger's didn't do as well. I have no idea why it wouldn't do better. So as for scootering, I'm not super sure if there's any skate channels out there that have scootering content, except I do actually have a game of scoot on my channel, <laughs> and it did pretty well. But when I type in scootering, Tanner Fox. Tanner Fox is the fastest growing extreme sports channel Period. It's funny because as for Tanner Fox's videos, all of his videos do super well. It's like really, really hard to gauge. Um, but his least viewed video in a while is actually a thumbnail of him scootering. So I guess compared to the other stuff that he does, scootering is less interesting. But I wouldn't really know where it stands. I just know that the fastest growing YouTube channel is a scooter channel. That's why I assume it's more popular. But for the deciding test, I can just go on Google AdWords and see which term is searched more. Scootering, skateboarding, bottle flips. All right, let's try skateboard and skateboarding to make sure that we nail the correct one. One, one to 10 million searches. That's actually, I mean, that's a lot. Skateboarding 10 to 100 million searches. I'm kind of blown away. That's a ton. That's fam fam. All right. Okay, okay. Let's type in scootering. Whatever happens, happens, okay? We're in this together. One to 10 million. And then scootering is one to 10. Scooter is one to 10 million. Okay, so skateboarding is honestly more searched than scootering. That's interesting. That's interesting. All right, you know, okay, well, I'm not going to lie, man. I feel a little bit of pride just because I'm a skateboarder, so it's kind of nice to see that. Okay, bottle flip. Let's see what's up with that. 100,000 to 1 million views. Ironically, that's like all of Ryan's video. Like, one mil he has 2 million views on his video. And I bring all this up because I just thought it was an interesting topic as to why. Like, why is bottle flipping so popular right now? Why is scootering so popular as well? It's the relatability. This is 100% my opinion. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm definitely not. That's, I, I might be, I might actually be. Cause you look through Ryan Bracken's comments and you do see kids who are really, really inspired to bottle flip. They're excited to pursue bottle flipping. Same with scootering. And I think the difference between all three of these things and why it seems like bottle flip videos are clicked more consistently, scooter videos, I, I didn't really gauge that still. And why there's such a growth in the scooter community because of how easy these things seem to get good at. Let's take me for example, my first time bottle flipping, it maybe took 10 to 12 seconds to do a bottle flip. Scootering, I assume the most popular trick is a tail whip, that took me about 45 minutes to an hour. And then with skateboarding, the most popular trick is a kickflip, which took me 
about a year. And that's the thing, if I if I bottle flip or scootered or skateboarded, oh my gosh, for an entire month, it would seem like I'm way better at bottle flipping, way better at scootering, and then you know less good at skateboarding. But in reality, I'm just as good at all of them. It's just perceived differently. All of these take a lot of practice to get really good at, but it just seems like it's easier to do scootering and bottle flipping. Therefore, it's more attractive. It's that instant gratification you get when you bottle flip and learn it really quickly. You're like, I can be super good at this when you scooter and you do a tail whip really fast. You're like, oh my gosh, dude, I'm like really naturally talented at this. And skateboarding, most people are not gonna feel that way because it does take a lot of practice just to get to a kickflip. And when you first try one, it seems like you could never, ever do it. And then eventually your muscle memory kicks in, you kind of figure it out and all that stuff happens. But that's the thing. Moral of the story, I should do a bottle flipping video tomorrow. So this is the moment where I've decided to post at 9.30 instead of 1.30, which I just made that, or one, which I just made that announcement like yesterday, and I just changed it already because people who post in the morning have always posted in the morning. So of course it's gonna work better for them. So the guys who recommended it to me, I was like, nah, I don't think so. I think 9.30, because people are used to that. I've been doing that literally since I started YouTube, so that's the way it's going to be. Dale's here right now. I kind of drag him into this where I'll be like, hey Dale, I'm gonna do this for now on. I think you should try and it. And I was kind of like, oh, Oh, okay, I'm gonna do it. And I was texting him, I was like, yo, do you really think I should change my upload time? And I was like, okay, sick, I'm going to. It's not his fault at all, it is my fault because I look to John as a mentor. Dude, I feel like you're blaming me, bro. Dude, it's all your fault. Are we trying to get there? Sometime? Basically, I said though, I was like, if it's not broke, don't fix it. That was my initiatory thought. Is that even a word to yeah. use in here? And I was like, look at me. He had a bunch of footage I needed, so that's what we're doing here. Yeah. I'm grabbing the footage from him, and uh, we might skate like a little bit, but there's so much ish I gotta do today that uh, we'll probably get like, I don't know, a quick little street session or something. But give me stab. You know how recently I've been complaining a little bit about the weather being a little too hot, and I was like, there's a day coming up where the weather's gonna be perfect, and it's gonna stay like that for a while. Today is that day. It is so unbelievably flawless today, the weather. And I know it's kind of weird that I always go into detail and get this excited about weather, but I do because there's nothing in the world that I want to do more than skateboard right now. So we just showed up at Westminster Skate Park. I have actually never skated here. I'll make us coffee to keep us awake. Play you all love songs lost in the hay. Never, never. Yo, you are so swag, dude. I saw that once, that trick once in Baker 2G. Hey, they do that, like, inner rentals, you always get down. Right? Yeah, well you got your crew pants on, you got makeup on, you got crew on. Oh yeah, I quit skating for you two. Why am I still? Let's go. Yeah, yeah, come on, let's go. Okay, I'm having a slight ecstasy from that session. Just smoothing it, soothing it. What am I trying to say? I literally can't think of a better word for I feel really soothed out. Really mellow. There it is. I mean, exercise makes you feel mellow. And after going to the gym this morning, I just feel super, uh, super good, man. Super good. So here we go. it keep getting dark? I was editing yesterday's video and if you saw it, of course it took me forever just because of all the boo ba boo boo spastic stuff that I put in there, but geez louise, it's 8 p.m. now, which means I've been editing it for like, I mean three or four hours on top of earlier editing it. That's what I've been up to, hey. 
So I'm deciding to end this video with a little rant, but I have to go get dinner as well, so killing two birds. This is probably something I shouldn't talk about in public really, really loud. Sure. Buddy. Dude, how you doing? Really I actually yeah. thought, quick honorable mention to Sky, Josh Love's girlfriend, for calling me a loser across the road, a car thinking that she was talking to them and yelling loser back at her. Awesome. I realized it was too sensitive of a subject to be yelling out in the streets of Long Beach, but do you watch H3H3 Productions? If not, I don't know, that dude's awesome. I really, really love his content. I've like really grown to like it, but today was the day where he posted a video talking about a guy who mentions Black Lives Matter. Joey's kind of baiting them into like supporting his position by being like, "Is so do you think this should say black or all? And then he posted another video making fun of people who get triggered too easily. Each side hates each other so much that there's like, they're so clouded by hate and judgment that nobody listens. It really, really got me thinking because he seems to think on the exact same level where I do, where in his first video, he just makes fun of a guy who uses the Black Lives Matter movement to promote his own agenda. Basically, this guy creates a skit. His name's like something salad, and he creates this fake, totally staged prank where he makes black people in the hood seem like they're really gangster and violent, and then white people seem good and pleasant. And he staged this whole thing. He like hired these actors to make black people look aggressive and bad, and I think that's a bad thing. And that's what H3H3 H3 Productions was saying, so he mentioned Black Lives Matter, he didn't give his own opinion on the matter whatsoever, and then all of his comments pooped all over him because they were like, yo, dude, like, I can't believe you support Black Lives Matter. And then there was the other one that was like, yo, I can't believe you don't support Black Lives Matter. Like, people didn't know what he was saying, so they were all over the place and just attacking each other. And it was just this, like, complete poop fest where all these racist, terrible human beings somehow found each other in a comment section. The only video I've ever had that got close to that was the video Unbreakable Skateboard where people were just, like, terrorizing these kids that were in my video that were all different races, Mexican, black, Asian, whatever. So his second video was explaining how insane it is that people get triggered so easily about comments. If someone has a different opinion, freak out, lose your mind because you're insecure about your opinion. Honestly, if you freak out on someone else, if you get mad or angry or you say something blatantly mean to someone else about having a different opinion, that means you're not confident enough in your own opinion. I just thought it was a good point about empathy and I love talking about this because of how important that I believe it is that we're all empathetic on each other's opinions because really we have no idea what other people have gone through. The thing is like I've met older people who are blatantly racist and I immediately want to be like, I hate you, you're a jerk, why do you exist? But at the same time, I don't know what it was like being raised in the environment they were raised like. If you were raised in South Carolina in the hillbilly sticks, let's just say like my dad kind of was, then you're gonna have a different opinion on how races work, especially if you're raised to believe that one race is superior to another race. And this isn't like a political rant that I'm trying to offend people with. This is like saying that people should be empathetic to other people. Having different opinions is having different opinions. And in this whole thing, I've never mentioned what my stance was. It's like, I, did, I haven't mentioned that I'm a Trump supporter or a Hillary supporter or anything. But the thing is, if I did, so many people would terrorize me for it, which to me is still insane to this day. And in the comment section, if someone says like, if I mention Trump in any of my videos, there will be a comment that says something like, well, Trump did this, did this, that's good. Or a comment that's like, well, Trump is a horrible person, and then there's gonna be someone who fights against that. Like, someone needs to bring their opinion and insult other people while they're doing it, and I just don't understand that. I guess I'm triggered because I don't really understand why people have to be mean to other people because we're all living on this earth. I feel like we should all help each other out. We should all support each other and create amazing things, but it seems like humans just get in other humans' ways and try to prevent from actual growth, and I don't get that. Anyways, it leads me to my quote of the night by Adam Smith. He says, as we have no immediate experience of what other men feel, we can form no idea of the manner in which they are affected, but by conceiving what we ourselves should feel in the like situation. So we just compare ourselves. We put ourselves in other people's shoes. We're like, wow, that person doesn't like this or this or this. I love that stuff. I don't understand why he's different. Doesn't make sense. Everybody has lived completely different lives, have completely different upbringings. Even if someone thinks of something that seems offensive to you, if someone supports Trump or Hillary or something like that, you can't just blatantly hate them because I bet you, I guarantee you, they have so many similarities to you. It's just that one thing that's different based on some kind of experience in their life that led them to that belief. I hope any of that makes sense. This is just me ranting about empathy because I, I do believe it's one of the most important things ever. I always talk about 
Progress Daily, and someone even mentioned like, all your quotes seem to be about Progress Daily, but I think more of my quotes are about empathy, looking out for your fellow man, fellow human, fellow any living creature, honestly. Just be supportive of what is living on this earth. That is my belief. So thanks a lot, dudes, for liking these videos, for subscribing. I'll see you tomorrow for another video, because yes, every single day I do them. Thanks a lot, dudes. Good night.